Hello and welcome to those that are joining us for this week's devotion. So this Sunday that had just passed, we celebrated Mother's Day. And while preparing for something completely different, where I wanted to focus on women on, in the Bible, I came across an interesting character who I'd never heard about before. I'm going to be totally honest, if a question was ever asked, have you ever heard of a person in the Bible who followed Jesus named Phoebe, I would have got the answer wrong. To be totally honest, the only Phoebe that I know of comes from a TV show called Friends. So there was some intrigue to find out more about this woman of God, and because we have just celebrated Mother's Day, I thought for this week we would keep the theme along women. Can we open in prayer? Father God, we thank you for your word. We thank you that each time we open it, we can find out new things about you and your followers. It is inspiring to read and be encouraged by these people, and we can only pray and strive towards being more like them each day with your help. Amen. So if we can turn to Romans 16, and I want to read a short piece found just in verse 1 and 2, which says so much about this lady called Phoebe. I commend to you Phoebe, our sister, who is a servant of the church in Sencrea, that you may receive her in the Lord in a manner worthy of the saints, and a sister in whatever business she has need of you. For indeed, she has been a helper of many and of myself also. So although only a few words are given, the ones chosen reveal a woman of faith who served in the church both spiritually and financially. Paul is writing to the Romans about her because he is sending her with a letter that he has written. He trusted her with his message and he wanted her to be well received when she arrived in Rome. The name Phoebe means pure or radiant as the moon. She's the shining one. Paul must have thought very highly of Phoebe. For him to have used such favorable words to introduce her. See, if we look sometimes at the writings of Paul in Romans and Philippians, it's easy to see that Paul was happy to say when people disappointed him, where people caused division and hindrance in the church, but not so with Phoebe. So why was she so highly favored? Why does Paul say, why does Paul say these things in his writings? Firstly, he describes her as our sister. We read in Galatians 3 verse 28, There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. He sees her as an equal. He sees her as one of God's family, living for the same purpose, doing all that they can for the family of God. Ladies, do you see yourselves as valued sisters, with as much worth as the men in your church? And men, do you see the women in your church as sisters? Do you treat them with respect and reverence? Secondly, he describes her as a servant of the church. She was an active member. She got involved. She was willing to do anything to further the gospel. In some Bible versions, the word servant is translated to deaconess, some even minister. She was willing to get involved, to roll up her sleeves and offer her services. Ladies and men, are you a servant of your church? Are you an active participant in your church? Asking where you can help, where you can get involved, where you can contribute, or are you a consumer? And thirdly, Paul says that Phoebe has been of great help to many people, even to himself. For him to say this about her, she must have been a great support and an encouragement to him. This tells me that she would have been gracious, kind, sincere and humble. You don't speak so highly of someone who is all about themselves, who is proud and overbearing. Can you say this about you? Have you been a great support and an encourager to someone else? Who is God putting in your heart today that you can do something for them? And if we look at this character Phoebe, what else can we learn from this short piece? Firstly, Paul valued women. 
It is most likely that Paul entrusted Phoebe, perhaps with a group of people, to travel to Rome and deliver this letter to the church. This implies that he trusted and valued her, both in character and in strength. He believed in her. He endorses her to the Roman church and tells them to accept her. She was seen as powerful and strong, carrying authority as a trusted messenger. Secondly, God uses women as leaders. Whether or not Phoebe held office as a deacon, it's clear that God used her to spread the good news. Whether she was a minister or a servant, she was evidently serving in the church. She was undeniably a sponsor in many ways, showing godly character of generosity and that she possibly might have had some money behind her. But she was able to use what she had been blessed with to bless others. There have always been female leaders in God's kingdom. If we look at Miriam and Lydia and Deborah, Phoebe was one of these. And thirdly, God, God puts his followers in family. Paul refers to Phoebe as our sister. We are so familiar with this terminology that it is easy to miss the significance. She was his sister in Christ and therefore a member of both his and the Roman spiritual family. As we follow Jesus, we are invited into a family with other believers. Can we close in prayer? Father, it is so good to see again that you are willing to use us, no matter who we are, as long as we are obedient and willing. We ask that you would help us to firstly want to put ourselves out there to be doing your work, to be willing to be sent as Phoebe was. And secondly, that you would open our eyes to see all believers as family, as sisters and brothers in Christ. We pray that you continue to strengthen and encourage us to be effective servants in spreading the gospel. Amen.